We made a quick weekend trip to Walt Disney World last weekend, and it was full of firsts. From the first time at a restaurant, to a stay at a new hotel, to the preview of a brand new Moana attraction. We'll share our experiences, plus some news and other randomness on episode 160 of the Mickey Fowl podcast. Welcome back for episode 160 of the Mickey File Podcast. I'm Scott, and with me, as always, is my lovely wife, Karen. Hello, everybody. This week is September 25th, the last week of September. Yes. How is it? End of September already. I just, yeah. We will be back at Disney in two more sleeps. Yes. Very excited. Yeah. Going over Wednesday for the big Grand Geek and Gathering meetup. Uh Uh-huh. In October this year instead of February. Right. But that's what fit. Exactly. Yeah. And it's only going to rain like apparently all week. (laughs) (laughs) At least all weekend. Okay. (laughs) Well, I mean, it is hurricane season. It is. It is. So, uh, a couple more days. I know. They have so much to do in those couple of days. Yeah, I know. Got to get packed. I know. And we went over last week because we had some friends, Alex and Andrew, come into town. Uh Uh-huh. And we planned like months ago to meet them and go to uh, On Top of the World for Enchantment at the Top. So, we did that on Friday night. We did, which was so much fun. Yeah. And then a couple of weeks ago, they announced the Moana thing, so we had to add a day to our trip so we could do Moana. Oh, darn. <laughs> the Journey of Water inspired by, by Moana. Right. And, uh, but that worked out. We got to stay at a new hotel. We got to... Have a whole new experience. Be one of the first, I don't know, 100, 200 people that... Got into Moana on the oh, previous. Oh, yeah, because we were the first, we were right at the beginning. Yeah, we were, you know, so that was very cool. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that. Yep. Just mostly spoiler free. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be hard to spoil that particular thing, right. talking about it, so. Right. Um. Yeah, so we did a lot. We actually, we really did. In less than 48 hours. Uh-huh. Went to the AP garage sale. Yes, we did. Garage sale. <laughs> I mean. Not all of it was garage sale. It, the Pandora stuff was not garage sale. Well, that's true. That was like the only stuff that wasn't. Right. But it was it was actually pretty cool. There was some cool stuff there. There uh-huh. was a lot of Stuff that you just look and laugh that they have so much. Yes. Boxes upon boxes upon boxes. Of some merchandise. Like you just know people in merchandising really screwed up their ordering. Yes. But there but it was good there were some, some things we had wanted and they were there, so which worked mm-hmm. out really nice. Yeah. Some things that we've been looking at for a year and not bought. That right. We got super cheap. Yes. So, yeah, we did that. Um. I guess that's it for the intro. <laughs> we don't have a lot of news because no. we actually have a lot to talk about. Yes. So why don't you start with what we have? Okay. It's official. The trams are now running at all four Walt Disney World parks. Started on September 20th. It only took three and a half years. <laughs> I mean, you know, it wasn't, over. wasn't that big of a deal. Just took three and a half years for them all to be running. <laughs> I, this was something I was going to look up before. 1,283 days. Yeah, no big deal. 1,283 days. <laughs> <laughs> to get all four parks trams running. Yep. yep. But they are officially running now. Which is 
which is good, but I just can't believe just so long. They needed to be running a year ago. Yeah. Maybe longer ago than that. Mm -hmm. Probably should have been running on the 50th, which has been a year and a half. Right. Right. Yeah. A year and a half. Yeah. Because that walk from. No, shoot it. Yeah. It ended. April of 2023. Yeah. So the 50th was almost two years ago. Yeah. Should have probably been running then, but they're running now. So yay. Yay. And it only took 364 days to get figment. (laughs) So... Yeah, hey, th- that means they're the head of the game. I was going to say, it sounds like they're speeding things up at <laughs> Disney World. <laughs> yeah, good. Trams are back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Need it, man. Yeah. Parking lots were full. Parks were crowded this weekend. They really were. I don't know why. I heard there was a three day weekend for schools. I don't know why. Well, like we a, literally just had one of those two weeks before. Well, it's a Jewish holiday today. Schools don't get Jewish holidays off anymore, do they? I, I don't know. I mean, know. like we didn't when we were growing up. Uh, no, I I didn't. I mean, I took it off, but it wasn't part of a holiday thing. But I don't know. And I don't know if they were off Friday or today either. So I just had heard it was a three-day weekend. Yeah, and I don't know what three-day weekend. But, but okay. You, you had a lot going on at Epcot. There was a lot going on. You know, in Figment's been around for what, like two weeks. Yeah. They opened a bunch of booths at at the food and, food wine. and wine. Right. On Friday mm-hmm. and one on Saturday that failed to open on Friday. Right. Then, and then you had Moana. Right. So there was a lot going on at Epcot, but it was nuts Friday and Saturday. Yes. Like to the point that we had planned on canceling Sunday morning just because we figured the crowd was going to be insane. And fortunately, it was not. Right. It actually worked out absolutely perfect for it. Yeah. For what, that couldn't have been smoother. I know. I was really, I even talked about it on the way home. I can't believe how smooth that went. Yeah. No, it was pretty shocking. Yeah. Um, And the next bit of news is the final voyage of the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser is taking place this week, September 28th through the 30th. I'm really sad about this. So that's Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm really sad about it. I am too. I'm sad we didn't get to do it again, but... I know, but hey, at least we got to do it. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. So... So, interested to see what's going to happen with it. It's going to be a giant warehouse. Office space, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably worth more to them as a write-off. At least for the near term, than it is as a hotel. Probably. You know, again, if you go and look at all the stuff they've taken off Disney Plus, right? Billions of dollars in Mm -hmm. write offs. So, yeah. There's some of that involved too, Mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, our our revoir. Star Cruiser. Yeah. It makes me sad. Yeah. Uh, One DVC news thing, actually there's a couple. One is that they've released floor plans for uh, the new Poly Tower. Mm -hmm. They're different. They are different. They're cool. They're different. Mm -hmm. The other DVC news is that Disney will be hosting a grand celebration live stream grand opening celebration live stream for the Villas at Disneyland Hotel, a new Disney Vacation Club property on Thursday, September 28th at 1.30 p.m. Eastern, 10.30 a.m. Pacific. 
So presumably on, you know, Disney Parks blog and DVC.com and right. YouTube and all the rest of that. Right. Pool area is cool looking. It is very cool looking. This thing looks like a Vegas hotel. <laughs> okay. It's, you know, maybe a little, I, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like a Vegas hotel. Okay. From the outside anyway. Yeah. So, very cool. Can't wait to see that video. Yeah. I'm actually excited to see that. I'd like to see, because all everything else was always just artist rendering. Right. So. Anyway, so that uh, that's the news. <laughs> as, little, as much as it was. <laughs> yeah, there just wasn't much, but there was a lot going on. Right. So, some of that will be discussed here in a minute. Mm-hmm. So Friday we left and went to Disney World. We did. We stayed at Disney's Old Key West Resort. Mm-hmm. It is not my favorite. No, it's not. I mean, we've discussed that before. Yeah, you know, one thing noticed, maybe we've noticed it before and just keep forgetting it. The TV is so small. So small. And you can't, you cannot put a bigger TV in there, not noticeably bigger because of the way the room is set, at least in a... In a studio. Studio or I... Yeah, in a studio. Yeah. Just because of the angle of that one wall, the way it's all set up. Right. It just doesn't work. Yeah. The other thing I had not noticed until this time, it hasn't changed. I just hadn't noticed it. Of course, we've only stayed there a couple times. Right. You have to go through the guard station to get in. Like if you have your own car, mm -hmm. you can't just pull up to the thing and tap your magic band because they don't have it. Right. Now, the entry is really narrow. There's no room for it. Right. But. It is surprising. It, well, I mean, it's the, it's the catch of the original resort, mm -hmm. you know, and being from the 90s. Right. Early, early 90s, 91. That, yeah, so you have to go through the guard station every time, which is, you know, fine and until it's 3 o'clock and you've got a bus and four Ubers and a couple people driving themselves and everybody's backed up trying to get in. Right. And it's not even that deep. Like when no, you the guard in, station's pretty close to the... Road. Main road, whatever that road I mean, is called. I mean, you put a bus and a car there, that's almost blocking the road. Yeah, it does. Um, we stayed on the end of a building. Yes. Second floor, we were the very last room closest to Turtle Creek Road. Yes. The tennis court was right behind us. The buses were really loud every time they drove by. Now, this time we did not have a bus stop below the window. Right. So we didn't hear. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah. But the buses were, the buses were loud. Yes. Um, so I, it was, a, it, the stay was fine, especially mm -hmm. for the time we were in the room. Right. Um, there's a lot to like about the resort. There's just a few little things that. It's just not my favorite. Right. But I still enjoyed the stay there. Uh-huh. Yeah. The other thing was, um, and this I know is the second time in a row that we've stayed there that this was a problem. Um, the streaming to the TV was not working. Right. At all. And it was the same problem last time. Mm -hmm. it, you're connected to the Wi-Fi network. And it tells you it can't find the TV, connect to the Wi-Fi network. And I was connected to the Wi-Fi network. Right. So, I don't know. It, something going on there, too, maybe. Yeah. But overall, it was fine. Mm -hmm. It was convenient enough, especially since we were going to Bay Lake Tower. It's fairly close. Right. Yeah. That close to Bay Lake, and it's just convenient location. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. And it's cheap, point-wise. Right. At least it was for this on a Friday. Mm -hmm. So overall, enjoyed it. There's just 
it's not a bad resort and I'm not going to just completely stop staying there. It's just not my favorite of the DVC resorts. Right. Because we like to sit on a sofa and there's no sofa to sit on. Well, that's been my complaint. Right. For four years, but just other little things that I've noticed now that we've stayed there a couple of times again, that Mm -hmm. I'd rather stay at Saratoga. Yeah. Which is what we're doing this week. Yes. You know, I always get that arm workout when we stay at Old Key. Yeah. Trying to close the blinds. Yeah, that is insane. I just don't get it. I mean. It's just, it's funny and I just don't understand why. So you, you know that everyone who stays there is closing those blinds. Right. Which means housekeeping has to open them every time. Exactly. Somebody leaves. You'd think housekeeping would be going, I don't want to do that. Yeah, you would think. <laughs> I feel way worse for the housekeepers that have to do it several times every day than I do the guests who have to do it. Right. I mean, let's face it, you're going to do it once on your stay. You're not getting up and opening it and then tonight closing it and tomorrow morning opening it because right. it's horrendous. But. I would, uh, I would pretty much bet that when their remodel comes, that goes away. <laughs> that is changed. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would hope so. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we we got to Disney. Mm-hmm. We had trying to think. We had done the virtual queue for the AP shopping. Had we done that already? Well, no, we asked for the queue. We hadn't come up yet because then we went and stayed, had lunch at Olivia's. Okay, then we went. Then we went to the thing because a room. Oh, right, because we had a later number. Right. Okay. So we left the house. Well, first thing, when we got up in the morning, you did the virtual queue. For the shopping. For the shopping event. Right. So we... And we got got our higher number, which is yeah, good. like six, no, 80, 80, 81. 81, something like that. Which was right. good because we knew we couldn't go till the afternoon anyway. So I was happy. Right. So we went, we dropped off the dogs, we got to Key West, went to check in. Mm-hmm. Now we knew it was early, like it was, you know, lunchtime. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, probably about 1230. Yeah, 1230-ish, yeah. And we decided... We were hungry. We looked and we could get Olivia's for, um, oh, we got there before 12 because we got Olivia's for 12.05. Right, right, right. And we had to wait like 20 minutes to do it. Mm -hmm. So we went into the front desk, talked to him, said, hey, we're here. You know, Mm -hmm. guy said, okay, let me see what we can do. And um, basically was like, okay, I've put, you know, like a rush on it or whatever. Right. Um, so it shouldn't be too long. Well, while we were standing outside Olivia's, the guy from the front desk came walking over with a map and found us Mm -hmm. and gave us our room assignment. Now, somehow between, between then and the end of lunch, our room assignment changed. Right. (laughs) So we went up and I don't know, maybe scared a crap out of a family by trying to get in their door. I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. (laughs) But, uh. Yeah, that was fine. Mm-hmm. It was fine. I actually probably liked where we were better than where we could have been. Right. So we got into Olivia's 12 of 5. Mm-hmm. What did you have? I had the sombrero omelet. Right. Right. And got it as egg whites, obviously. Um, and you had? I had the fried chicken. Right. It was delicious. I'll be honest with you, it looked very different from when I had it in January and when you had it. Yeah, I had never been to Olivia's before. Mm-hmm. Um, they had a burger that looked pretty good by description, but, you know, the fried chicken is what you're supposed to eat there. Right. So that's what I had, and it was delicious. Mm-hmm. Had mashed potatoes, some kind of what they called southern white gravy. It was 
that was a bit salty, got to be honest with you. Okay. Um, that was mostly the flavor of the gravy. But other than that, the chicken, the potatoes, the green beans were all really good. Okay. So, you seemed to enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, I was happy with the meal. Yeah. And, and it wasn't horribly salty. It just was a little salty. Right. The gravy. And then I had my omelet was um, basically a uh, like a pepper, peppers omelet. It was full of peppers. Okay. It was. Okay. Like red peppers, green peppers. Right. 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 It's like a Western omelet with no meat. Right. And it was very good. Yeah. Um, And the meal wasn't overly expensive. I think it was something like 45 bucks for the two of us. Um, Yeah. My omelet was 17 and your chicken was 25. Right. So, yeah, with the tax, it was 45 and, you know, 55 or whatever with the tip. Right. And you get DVC discount. Mm Mm-hmm. It was nice. We did have drinks at the Gurgling Suitcase before. We did, yeah. I had some kind of bourbon raspberry, bourbon blueberry. Bourbon berry lemonade. lemonade. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. And I had the summer heat, which was vodka um, jalapenos, like uh, muddled jalapenos in there. And then they threw some in. That was delicious. Um, and then I don't remember what the something red was inside of it. <laughs> But yeah, so we did that because we had like 20 minutes to wait before right. we could eat. Right. The so we ran around the corner and grabbed a couple of drinks to start the vacation. And, mm-hmm. and they and, were very uh, good. Yeah. And then yeah. got called in for, for lunch. Restaurant wasn't crowded. There Not were plenty all. of walk-in people. Right. Which was good. Well, I mean, it's lunch mm-hmm. at a resort that's dip, a little difficult to get to, you know, from a park. So right. right, unless you're staying there, right, you're really not going to right. Not lots of people going there just to eat in the middle of the day, right. So, which is good to know. I mean, mm-hmm. but actually, when we when we were looking for where could we go get something to eat while we kill time, um, there were a million places. Yeah, there were. Like all four parks had a lot of availability. And Disney Springs, like everything was available at Disney Springs. Right. Um, a, a couple of things we right away passed on because there was just no way to get there fast enough to make the reservation. Mm-hmm. They were like 10 minutes away. Yeah. And we just couldn't get there in 10 minutes. Yeah. So it, it worked out well. Olivia's was a good choice. Mm-hmm. And uh, like I said, the room was available, was ready. So we went and got our stuff into the room and... Uh, I hung out for a little while until it started getting close to our virtual queue number. Mm -hmm. And then we, and I mean, when I say close, like, you know, we were 81, they were at like 75. Right. Because we only had to wait like maybe five minutes once we got there. Yeah, it wasn't very long at all. Right. And we, uh, so we drove over to ESPN and walked up and just kind of sat on one of the barricades right by the security check-in and went in. Mm -hmm. It was a lot easier to deal with on Friday than it was when you went on Wednesday. Oh, yes. Wednesday was... Check-in was was crazy. Yeah. And this check-in, you walked right in and... Yeah. They scanned your thing and then you were there. Mm -hmm. So it was cool. There was cool stuff. There were some lightsaber hilts. Mm -hmm. They had Princess Leia, Cal Kestis, and Plo Kloon. Mm -hmm. Um... Cal Kestis was $68. The other two were 48 Now, those don't come with a blade. Right. But they do come with the cool display box. Yes. Um, so we got those. We got the Haunted Mansion bookends that we've actually been looking at for like a year. Right. And they were $50 at Memento Mori last time we looked at them. Right. And we only paid 16 for these. They had a lot of tumblers and coffee mugs. Mm-hmm. Um, for like six bucks, seven bucks, seven fifty. Yeah, some up to nine, but yeah, yeah, but they had a lots. Coach Disney Mickey Mouse coffee mug that was fourteen, but it was Coach. Yeah. So they had a lot of cool stuff. They also had a lot of stuff, and they had a lot of items where you looked and went, "I don't know why anyone would have ever bought this." Or bought this many of them. And by the way, they have literally 500,000 of them. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Like. Yeah. 
like you could see somebody somebody made a huge mistake ordering some really weird stuff. Yeah. Overall, I thought it was pretty organized. Yeah. Uh, and, at and least on Friday, uh-huh. they they had mobile checkout, which, which was huge. Yes. They had Mister Toad's popcorn buckets. Mm-hmm. Five dollars each. Yes. About, so we got in there a little two, after two. Yeah, a little after two. And spent about an hour, probably. We, we an hour and 15 minutes is what mm-hmm. we spent. Right. And um, about halfway through our time in there, they suddenly announced that the Mr. Toad's buckets were $5. And if you buy one for $5, you get one free. Yeah. So. Um, look for one of those as an upcoming prize on Mouse Quiz. <laughs> At least one of those. At least one of those, yeah. They had... They had a DJ. He was fun. He kept it entertaining. Did, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was all Disney music, right. which was cool. And it was recognizable Disney music. It wasn't like what you get on the Disney hits Sirius XM station, which is like two songs from movies and then stuff from High School Musical. It was all like... Movie songs. Right. And I will say the cast members were all dead. Some of them were dancing, they were singing, they were having fun. I think they were actually making, you know, considering how busy it was, they were trying to have fun. And Yeah, those cast members also, a lot of them Mm -hmm. had on ESPN Wild World of Sports costumes. Right. So they're not really used to that kind of event. Right. Especially being spread out over the days like that. Mm Mm-hmm. So... It was very cool. Yep. And they did have the Pandora, little mini Pandora section. So there was um, specific Pandora ones that were released early, early release for this event. So I have a feeling they'll show up probably this coming weekend in the park. Yeah, probably. Right. So it it was cool. Very, It was cool. Mm -hmm. And at the end, like we got... Each a shopping bag with a couple of 50th anniversary, like, plastic cups in it. But later in the day, they were giving out, like, something else in the goodie bag. Yeah. So Yeah, because they're giving, like, a Star Wars, the original Galaxy's Edge shopping bag, plus the small 50th bag, and then the cups inside of it. Yeah. And later on, they had something other than the cups. Yeah. So, so it was very cool. It was mm-hmm. fun, and we spent a lot of money. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but, I mean, not... We spent a hundred and forty dollars on the two lightsabers, but right. Other than that, it was yeah. Other than that, we didn't spend a lot for us. No, you know, we're right. You picked up, up some things. stuff for some other people, and we picked right. up prizes for mouse quiz. Right. It actually for the you know so those are the prizes that are going to be on mouse quiz. Now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Expect to see tumblers and coffee mugs and uh-huh. Mr. Toad popcorn buckets. Yep. For those who don't have one. <laughs> um, we left there. We went back to the hotel and uh, ordered some food for dinner. Yeah. Hungry Howie's Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so, because, well, salad. because we knew we were going to Bay Lake and for the dessert party mm-hmm. at Top of the World. Right. Definitely needed to eat, have something in our stomach. Yeah. So that was a really good, fun time. So much fun. Um, because of the event and especially because of the company. Oh, the company made it fantastic. Yeah. There was a total of eight of us, which was. Yeah. And we got the VIP room. Right. Didn't even know it was called the VIP room. Right. Which is not the first time we've sat in there. I know. But, um, and then we went back to their hotel room. And just hung out for a little while. So we had a pretty late night. Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a really late night. <laughs> yeah. But that was cool. It yeah, was fun. We had a lot of fun. Got up the next morning. We had zero plans for yep. Saturday. Like none. Mm-hmm. We actually were going to try to catch up with John Self and it just never happened. Yep. But we, uh, we hung out. At Key West until we had to leave. We did go to Hollywood Studios for a couple of hours in Star Wars land. Right. 
Galaxy's Edge because we hadn't been there in a while. Mm -hmm. Didn't ride anything or any of that, but we did go there. Yep, and we went to Doc Ondar's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, because we needed blades for the new lightsaber. Right, and we got something else really cool. The What is it? Wayfinder? The Wayfinder. Yeah, Yeah, that's a cool little gizmo. Mm Mm-hmm. So um, we'll try to put a little video of that up. It interacts with... Kyber crystals. The kyber crystals and tells you a lot. Like read the Wikipedia, probably Wikipedia. Yeah. Um, entry for different planets and stuff. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it was really neat. So we haven't played with it a lot, but we did play with it. And uh, then we decided let's go to the Drury and just see if we can get in because mm-hmm. we were staying at the Drury. Right. Just see if we can get in and maybe at least drop off our bags. Mm-hmm. So... Um, that was about two thirty, quarter to three. Yeah. We went in, they didn't even hesitate to check us in and get us to our room. Right. We had a pretty nice view of, they call it a city view, but because the building is curved, our view, we could see from our room, um, the top of Cirque du Soleil, the balloon, mm-hmm. you know, um, uh, at Disney Springs. Right. There was a lake, pond, whatever, right behind us. So that was nice. It was a pretty decent view mm-hmm. to sit on the balcony and look out at. The room cost us $184. Right. It was a... 20- we, it, it was a king suite, mm-hmm. deluxe suite, something like that. Right. So a sleeper suite. That's what it is. King sleeper suite. Okay. Right. So it had a king size bed, a pullout bed. Queen size sofa mm-hmm. had a little table with two chairs where you could eat, like that kind of table. Right, um, desk and a dresser. Right. Um, TV had at least Netflix mm-hmm. that you could sign into. Right, and it. then yeah, then yeah, the login to Netflix on the TV. Then it still showed you could hook up an HDMI. Right, and then of course cable. Right. I think their cable was Dish. Uh, it was Dish right. TV. All right. We um, we knew that we would get three drinks each, mm-hmm. alcoholic beverages each, yeah. as part of you know per night. Right. So that's at four from four to eight. Four here, right here. Oh, yeah. From four to eight is popcorn and soda. Right. The whole second floor is like is like a buffet room. Yeah. So on the first floor, they had uh, what they called the kitchen bar. So they had food mm-hmm. and a bar, right? Big, big bar. They had a little marketplace restaurant that had a Pizza Hut Express in it, mm-hmm. and a Starbucks coffee. Not marketplace restaurant. A marketplace like a like a convenience store, like they yeah. do at the DVC resorts. You know, soda, milk, mm-hmm. snacks. Some Disney souvenirs, that kind of stuff. Right. So that night they had uh, a guy with a guitar playing at the bar. Mm -hmm. Like all night. Right. Till 11 or something. 5 to 11, I think. Something like that. Like long. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, of course, the nice pool area and kids pad and big hot tub, all that. Right. And then they have a nice lake. Side bar and grill, which is the bar outside. Right, outside. Right. Um, but the second floor was where you went for popcorn and soda. They had, you know, soda fountain mm-hmm. and uh, self-service and, and coffee. Two yeah. big popcorn makers. Yeah, they had coffee and yeah. flavored coffee, f- flavored creamers for the coffee. That mm-hmm. At 5 o'clock, the kickback. No, 5.30. <laughs> sorry, 5.30 to 7.30, the kickback started Mm -hmm. so that's when you can get your three free beer or premix cocktails or well and they had food out like in a on a buffet yeah so they had pulled pork baked potatoes mixed vegetables like steamed mixed vegetables green beans oh sorry baked beans baked beans right 
Then around the corner, they had hot dogs. They had not uh, like tortilla chips with nacho cheese and mm-hmm. salsa and jalapenos if you wanted and sour cream. Right. Um, um, they had a salad bar, like a mini salad <laughs> bar. So it just, it didn't, it wasn't a huge salad bar. It was, you know. Well, none of it was huge. Right. But they had food. Yeah. So. I, and soup. Remember they had soup And too. they had chicken noodle soup. Yeah. So that was our dinner. Yeah. Was we, we ate there, which we had not even planned on doing. Right. And I had no idea. I figured it was going to be like, you know, snack stuff is what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I had no idea it was like actual food. <laughs> the next morning they did breakfast there mm-hmm. and it was your typical yeah. pastry, cereal, waffle, Mickey waffles. But, right. But the scrambled eggs, they were constantly making them fresh. Right. Right. You know, they weren't the ones that look like they're, you know, folded up. They were just but, making them and bringing them out. So now for $184, we got between us six drinks mm-hmm. and dinner, two meals each. Mm-hmm. It was a pretty good deal. It was a good deal. You know, um, and, a, it, and a really nice brand new room with a good view. Right. Um, it did have a $25 parking fee. Um, but then there's no resort fee. So right, no resort fee. Right, no resort fee, and I mean twenty five. That's cheaper than any of the others. It's about the same as the Wyndham next door. The Wyndham that was thirty. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was twenty five, but okay. Um, but yeah, no resort fee, and everyone was so nice. Every single person that worked there was really, really friendly. Super, super nice. Yeah. So. Um, we're going back there. Oh yeah. It was well worth the price and the location. Oh yeah. They also, they had free shuttle. Yes. And And unlike how it used to be where it ran once an hour, this was running, uh, anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes apart, depending on the time of day. Right. It would take you to Epcot, um, Hollywood studios or animal kingdom or to the TTC or to Disney Springs. Right. And you could actually go on and reserve your spot for the times. Yeah. You reserve it for um, any time, two hours from when you went to reserve, basically. Right. You know, on their schedule. Right. Which is nice. That means it doesn't have all these people showing up to go. And, and it's running constantly. Because like I said, we we stayed at that Best Western one time and tried to take the shuttle that was supposed to be coming at 745. And mm-hmm. at 805, it still hadn't shown up. And right. This one, you know, early in the morning and later at night, they were running every 15 minutes. Yeah. So at least to Magic Kingdom and probably with the other parks figured in, they must be running constantly. Right. So I thought that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Just the whole thing was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It it would have been pretty easy to go and just stay there too. The pool was fantastic. It didn't have like a water slide, but. No, but it had a nice pool that I had a kid's splash area. Yeah. So it had a little one and that was actually gated off into another area. So you mm-hmm. could actually stay there with the little ones and not have to worry about them run into the other pool. Yeah. Right. Oh, and they had those, uh, what was that? Like the cabana type things out at the pool. Yeah. They only had a few of those, like right. four, but. But they still had them. Yeah. So the one you can. And it wasn't like a real cabana. It was a chair that had like a awning thing that came up over right. the top of it. But it was very nice, mm-hmm. you know, if you could get it. Yeah. I was very impressed. Yeah, I, I was too. I was very happy with it. And like yeah. I said, we'll definitely go back there. Yeah. Um, in fact, if we hadn't already booked All Star for Wednesday night, I would have rather stayed there. Yeah. More money, but I still would have rather stayed there. Yeah. Well, between the two prices, I mean, it wouldn't have been that bad. Right. But I've never stayed at an all-star, so boom. Right. Now I can I click that off the list. Yes. Um. So anyway, that was Saturday. Mm-hmm. Didn't do a lot, but everything we did was newish. Yes. Um. Sunday morning, we got up. We left the hotel just before 8 o'clock. Mm-hmm. It was 11 minutes to Epcot, so we ran over to Epcot and actually got right in. We were very worried that the parking lot was, you know, the toll booths would still be closed and it'd be all backed up. Yes. And when we left just after 9 o'clock, there was a line outside the toll booths. Oh, here was a line. 
There was a line outside the gates. And there was a line inside the gate. We we went up. We got right in the gate. Mm-hmm. At uh, about 10 minutes after 8, we got into the park mm-hmm. for early entry. Yes. At 8.20, they went ahead and opened the early entry part. Yes. And the group split. Go right. If you're here for early entry, go to the left around this little corner. If you're here for the DVC or AP AP, AP preview, mm-hmm. and the entrance was right there, yeah. the entrance to a queue. And the queue only went down and back at that point. Now, they had a queue set up that was... Oh, yeah, because, yeah, I took a picture big. of that. Yeah, that was going to be pretty... But at the time, the queue only went, I don't know, down, down and 100 back. feet and, and back, back up 100 feet. Right. When we got in it. Mm-hmm. So... That was really cool. We met um, Mike and Vicky. Yes. Were behind us. Yes. Who are listeners of the podcast. So yes. hi guys. It was nice meeting you guys. Yeah. And they live near us too. They well, do, down in Riverview. Down in Riverview. So. So still in Hillsborough County. I know, but it was just very cool. Yeah. Very, it was super cool. I know. <laughs> um, and then we were waiting for, hoping my cousin could get there in time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Your cousin came and met us, Jody. Mm-hmm. And, uh. At 8.20, we entered the journey of water inspired by Moana. Right, because we were just pretty much walking, kept walking. And we left it um, about 9 o'clock. So it took us about 40 minutes to get through. The only real backup, uh, yes, a, a couple of times to do the interactive stuff, we had to stop because there was one person in front of us. Right. At the busier ones, they had a cast member going, okay, I can have somebody come to this one. I can have somebody come to this one. Yeah, they you were know. directing it pretty well. Yeah. Um, some of the other ones, most of the other ones, they do, didn't even have to do that. Right. Because there was multiple People would go places. up, play with it for a minute, mm-hmm. and then move on. Yes. You know, uh, everybody in the group was super cool about knowing that there were a lot of people trying to see it. Right. So that was neat. There were some very cool things. There were some things that were neat. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure people have seen some of the videos, you know, where you wave your hand and the water does something. And, yeah. Um, but some of those were really cool. And especially like if you get four people that all yeah. did the wave at the same time, what it did. All, you know? Yeah, that was, that was really cool. Because then we just all counted down and then we did it. It yeah. was really neat. It's very good. There's a lot of reading that you can do about, mm-hmm. you know, rain and rain is blah, 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 blah. And it, you know, feeds the plants. And, mm-hmm. um, but at all the interactive stations, there are also signs going, do this and see what happens. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And so, there's a lot of hidden things there. There are a lot of, like the tree of life. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of characters carved into rocks in weird places. Yes. Um, so that was fun going around and going, oh, there's Moana, there's, there's Pua, you know, there's, there's, hey, um, there's, what's his name? The rocks hook. There's, you know, yeah. um, Hey, Hey, they actually have chicken feet. Yes. To guide you to him. of chicken feet to lead you to Hey, Hey. Yeah. It was really cute. And yeah. we actually went backwards to go find him. Right. Yeah. Because it was Fairly early in the mm-hmm. attraction, and we had missed it. Yes. And uh, couldn't miss that. So we actually went all the way back almost to the beginning and then started <laughs> over yeah. once we had finished. But there was some but neat didn't things. start over. We went yeah. all the way back to the beginning, found him, and then just sped walked back through it. Right. The only other, the only real place that there was a backup was the overlook in front of Tafiti. Yes. Because everyone picture. wanted the picture. Yeah. And it's a super cool picture. It really is. Um, beyond the, beyond her statue or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's not really a topiary, but they right. want it to look like a topiary. Right. But the landscaping and the architecture around it, it was a really cool picture. Very cool. So, and there were just some neat things with, you know, like a... It's not really a waterfall, but like a curtain of water mm-hmm. that, you know, would open as you walked in front of it. That's not a spoiler. There's a sign right there that says walk slowly towards it. Yeah. It may move out of your way. I mean, it wasn't. 
<laughs> it was no, yeah. <laughs> right. It's not like, holy cow, did you see that? It was like, oh, I know what's going to happen here. But that's, right. you know, that's cool. It was very cool. It's very pretty. It would be yeah. beautiful at night. Yeah, because there are lights in things that you could tell it would be very, have a very different look. Just like Pandora does. Very different during the day than it is at night. Right. So I do definitely, you know, want to go back and see it at night. Mm-hmm. So. Now, when we went in, there was, you know, like right after we left, it was backed up. It was starting to get backed up. By the yeah. time we got off, maybe 10 miles away from Disney. Yes. The line apparently had reached like three hours mm-hmm. for it. And All they instituted a virtual queue. Yes. Apparently their plan is that every day at opening and once the virtual queue people have all gone through. Mm -hmm. So it says the standby line access for Journey of Water inspired by Moana may be available at park open and again after boarding groups have been called for the day. Check back to learn if current attraction access is via virtual queue or standby line. You can do the virtual, you can enter the virtual queue on the app. Mm -hmm. Click. And it'll tell you, you know, it'll let you know when it's time for you to come back. Right. You can also scan a QR code located at the entrance of the attraction. They are just going virtual queue as needed. Right. I have not heard if it was virtual queue today. So I just haven't heard. Right. Um, I feel like probably as the as we get into this week, at least before the weekend, I don't feel like they're going to use that virtual queue much. Um, because I think the demand will die off, at least during the week. Yeah. You know, probably pick back up afterwards. Right. Uh at least for the weekend. Mm-hmm. I personally, um, I'm not going to wait in line for it. No, it was cool, but it wasn't that cool, right? But I think that by this time next year, it'll be a walk up, go do it. Yeah, you know, because it's really just a maybe walk not through. as maybe not as dead as the Swiss Family Treehouse, but I don't think it's going to be. This is not going to be Guardians or. One of those. Right. And, you know, Figment was three to four hour waits the first day and by Wednesday was less than an hour. Right. So I think once you get through that original Sunday rush of all the pass holders and DVC people that wanted to be first, Mm -hmm. like us. Right. um, Although in fairness, if we didn't do it Sunday, we wouldn't be able to do it again until next weekend. Correct. So, um. So we made we the had decision. To do it. Yeah. Right. If we were going to do it early. Right. So, but it is very cool. It is beautiful. It, there's some neat stuff in it. Mm-hmm. Um, there's and also it, some stuff you've seen before. They got the fountains that jump from one hole to another, right. just like outside of imagination. Doesn't make it less cool, but it also is something I've seen before. Correct. Um, yeah. I wouldn't wait. Like I said, I wouldn't wait in line for it. I might do virtual queue to go see it again. Yes, I do virtual because queue. Because we saw a lot of the stuff in the rocks. I'm sure we didn't see it all. Right. I would like to go through and see, all, see you know, yeah. look in more detail at things we didn't really, because it was kind of like, oh, and then you got, started looking at something else and I forgot to, you know, finish looking at what I was. Right. The area I was at. Right. And uh, we got lots of pictures. Yes. So there uh, there was one spot, well, oh, at the front where there was a cast member that was taking pictures with your phone. And then mm-hmm. by the time we got to her, they wasn't anymore. Right. I'm wondering if there's going to be a photo pass photographer there. I Probably eventually. Yeah. Um, Just because it's got the big sign behind you. Yeah. Probably yeah. not for a while because... It just going to back things up too because much. Because it's at the entrance and it's already going to be crowded. Right. But it was very cool. I certainly uh, would recommend it. I just mm-hmm. don't know how long I would wait in line for it. Yeah. Not an hour. That's for sure. Not no. an hour. No. But not at all. 
And then the last thing we did that we have not ever done before, we left there, we ran out to the front, walked briskly out to the front, got in our car and drove to Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. <laughs> oh, you did get your magnet though. I did get my magnet on the way through. Yes. And oh, I got my light up, light up spaceship Earth. Which we still haven't lit. We yeah. still haven't. We, yeah, we need to see out of the box and see. I know. What it looks like. Well, it was late when we got home yesterday. Um, but yeah, we went to Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay mm-hmm. and uh, got there a little bit after 11 and um, spent until about 5.30, a little after 5.30 mm-hmm. with our friend Kevin Curtis Allen and his wife, Deborah. Yes. We had a nice time. So we had a great time. Didn't yeah. do much. We rode the train. We looked at animals. Mm-hmm. Animals were like really participating for they us. They really were. And the weather was really nice up until later in the day. Like, for example, one of the first things we stopped to see was the orangutans, mm-hmm. right? So there's one sitting on a platform, and then there's one on a platform, like, another level up right? and across. Mm-hmm. And so we're standing there looking at it, and I'm like, man, I wish we could have seen that one. Climb up there. Climb up there, because the only way to get there is just, like, climb up here and then swing across these ropes. Right. Well, I've barely said it. And the one that's closest to us all of a sudden stands up, walks over, grabs the rope, and walks yeah. all the way to the other side. And we can't believe it. So we're just filming the and whole thing. And we're all thing. like, oh, my God, look. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but they had a tiger that was out and walking around. They had cheetahs out and walking around. Mm-hmm. They had a hippo swimming around up by the glass, kept coming up. He put his face, his mouth right onto the glass in right. front of Kevin while Kevin was trying to I know. get a video of it. It was so funny. Like, we had the greatest animal experience ever yesterday, everywhere yeah. we went. Right. And the lions were crashed, but they're crashed. They crashed right. right at the glass yeah. windows. Yeah. Yeah. It was really cool. Mm-hmm. So it was a it was a long day after a long weekend, but it was fun. We did have a lot of fun. Yeah. So, uh, and now it's got me excited about G3. Yeah. <laughs> well, it has because it was so much fun just hanging out. Yeah, you it know, wasn't. We weren't trying to run around. Five we hours, trying to go, six hours. Weren't trying to go on all these rides. No, you know, we just literally just had a good wa- time. Just walked and talked in each other's company, and and like I said, you wandered around the park, saw everything. Didn't necessarily do everything, right? Um, Kevin got podcast content. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So. Yeah, and we even yeah. got to see on a map. That's Deborah pointed out. The Isle, the Isle of Wight. Of Wight. Off, That's right. On a map that we saw at the uh, That's right. in the lounge. So, and by the way, Kevin Curtis Allen, our friend who is the host of that Florida podcast and the Brit's Guide to DVC mm-hmm. podcast. Yes. Go check him out. Yes. Live from the sunny Isle of Wight. <laughs> so, I think that's everything we did. Yeah. It was cool. It was cool. We had a really, it was, it was a lot. Yeah. But we didn't do much on Saturday, which was great. Like yes. our, our new stuff on Saturday was just staying at a hotel and hanging out at the hotel most of the day. That's what we did. So, and it was fantastic. And we needed that rest day in between, even on just a three day. Yeah. Cause I was exhausted. Trip. Yeah. So <laughs> it was fun. Yes. Ready to wrap up? Sure. All right. Well, thanks everyone for listening to one more episode of the Mickey File podcast. Uh, on social media, you can find us on Facebook. We are the Mickey File Improvement District. <laughs> it's where we share stuff when we're in the parks and also uh, one of the places where you can find Mouse Quiz when, it, when we do it every other Tuesday night at 8 o'clock Eastern on Facebook Live and YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, Instagram, it's Mickey File underscore podcast. So mostly reels there and announcements for the podcast. Right. And best way to support the show is what you're doing right now. Listen to us, like, follow, subscribe, thumbs up, share, you know, with other people. Throw it on your uh, social media pages or just tell somebody, hey, give these guys a, a try. Right. We'd appreciate it. If you uh, if you really want to, you can go to Apple or Spotify and drop a 
five-star review, that would be helpful too. Allegedly, that helps people find you if you have more reviews. I don't know. Yeah. I don't it's know. just what I hear. Everybody says it, so it must be true because I hear it on the internet all the time. <laughs> so it has to be true. It There's has no to way be it's true. not. Exactly. <laughs> don't believe everything you read on the internet. Okay. Abraham Lincoln, 1863. <laughs> and uh, that's it. If you want to get in touch with us, uh, you can also drop us an email at Mickey File. Um, what is it? Mickey File Podcast, all one word at gmail.com. Goodbye. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.